hello everyone in this video we will discuss a concept known as information content of dvd we first start with the survey results uh, in 24 a survey of senior executives asks about their firm's dividend policies so three points stands out from this survey first of all managers are reluctant to make dividend changes that may have to be reversed okay which means that uh, they are particularly worried about having to rescind a dividend increase and if necessary would choose to raise new funds to maintain the payout so the bottom line is managers do not change dividend unless they are fairly reasonable that they will don't have to reverse it Second point is to avoid the risk of a reduction in payout managers' smooth dividends. Consequently, dividend changes follow shifts in long-term sustainable earnings. Transitory earning changes are unlikely to affect dividend payouts. Managers focus more on dividend changes rather than on absolute levels. Thus, paying a $2 dividend is an important financial decision if last year's dividend was $1, but no big deal if last year's dividend was also $2. Investors typically know that a firm that reports good earnings and pays a generous dividend is putting its money where its mouth is. We can understand, therefore, why investors would value the information content of dividend on, and refuse to believe a firm's reported earnings unless they were backed by an appropriate dividend policy. Of course, firms can cheat in the short run by overstating earnings and scrapping up cash to pay a generous dividend. But it is hard to cheat in the long run for a firm that is not making enough money will not have enough cash to pay out. If a firm chooses a high dividend payout without cash flow to back it up, the firm will ultimately have to reduce its investment plans or turn to investors for additional debt or equity financing. All of these consequences are costly. And that's the reason most managers don't increase dividend until they are confident that sufficient cash flow will will be there to pay them which is consistent with the first point we discussed in, in the previous slide notice that investors do not get excited about the level of company's dividend they worry about the change which they view as an important indicator of the sustainability of earning that we also discussed in the last slide not only the information on dividend gives signal to shareholders uh, so the signal that we are discussing so far that when a company increasing increase in dividends shareholders do not get excited that the, they are getting higher dividend they also be optimistic that managers believe that the company will have higher earnings in future and that's the reason company has increased dividend so that's that's the information content of dividend now uh, there can be an obvious question that only uh, the dividend has information content or the stock repurchases can also have information content. Well, share repurchases like dividends are a way to hand cash back to shareholders. But unlike dividends, share repurchases are frequently a one-off event. So a company that announces a share repurchase program is not making a long-term commitment to distribute more cash. The information in the announcement of a share repurchase program is therefore different from the information in a dividend payment. Corporations repurchase shares when they have accumulated excess cash or when they want to substitute debt for equity. Shareholders upload payout of excess cash when they worry that the firm would otherwise feature the money away on parks or unprofitable empire building. Shareholders also know that firms with large quantities of debt to service are less likely to squander cash. A study by Command and Gerald, who looked at announcement of open market repurchase programs, found that on average they resulted in an abnormal price rise of 2%. Stock repurchases may also be used to signal a manager's confidence in the future. Suppose that the managers believe that your stock is subsequently undervalued. 
you announce that the company is prepared to buy back a fifth of its stock at a price of 20% above the current market price but you are say certainly not going to sell any of your own stock at that price investor jump to the obvious conclusion you must believe that the stock is a good value even at 20% above the current market price so this is the signal stock repurchases provide when companies offer to repurchase their stock at a premium senior management and directors usually commit to hold on their stocks so it is not surprising that researchers have found that announcements of offer to buy back shares above the market price have prompted a large rise in stock price, averaging about 11%. While stock repurchases are like bumper dividend, they do not typically substitute for dividends. Over two thirds of companies that pay dividend, say for example in 2007, also repurchase the stocks. Firms are likely to buy back a stock when they have accumulated a large amount of unwanted cash or wish to change their capital structure that I indicated already. Unlike a stock repurchase, dividends are not regarded as an appropriate way to pay out transitory earnings. Therefore, many firms that repurchase a stock would not contemplate using cash to raise the dividend and so incur a commitment to maintain the payout. Given these differences, in the way that dividends and repurchases are used, it is not surprising to find that repurchases are much more volatile than dividends. Repurchases are generally mushroom during boom times as firms accumulate excess cash, but with are in recession. Here is the survey result that I was talking about where senior executives were asked that why uh, about their dividend policy. So you can see that 93.8% of the executive responded that we try to avoid reducing the dividend. So uh, that's what I was talking about is the information content of dividend. When a company cuts down its dividend, that gives a negative signal to investors that company uh, expecting a decline in its earnings. That's why it has cut down its dividend. So due to these negative signals, a company is highly reluctant to reduce its dividend. We try to maintain a smooth dividend stream, 89.6% of the respondents said. So, as I indicated earlier, that managers try to smooth dividend rather than changing the dividend very frequently. Because uh, an increase in dividend gives a positive signal in the market. However, if company cannot maintain this increased dividend, that will, and company has to cut down its dividend, that will again give a negative signal. That's why the company doesn't increase its dividend until the managers are confident that they can maintain this increased dividend. 82% respondents said that we look at current dividend level, so they, they wish to maintain the dividend. 77.9% said we are reluctant to make a change that may have to be reversed, that I indicated earlier, that managers are very reluctant that they make a change that they have to be reversed in a short period of time. We consider the change in dividend, 66% said. So uh, managers are not very concerned about the level of the dividend, rather they are concerned about the changes. 65% said rather than reducing dividends, we would raise new funds to undertake a profitable project. So when companies have profitable projects, so they even rather than reducing dividend, they will raise cash probably by issuing new, new securities. And 42.8% said the cost of external capital is lower than the cost of cut a dividend. So uh, companies, rather than cutting dividend, they will raise fund externally, which is less costly, according to 42.8% of the respondents. So this is about, uh, all about our discussion on information content of dividend. In the next video, we will discuss dividend theories. Thank you.